I've got a series of bad news. The first bad news is that the by-elections have been announced by the president. They are going to be held on the 9th of December, 2023. So the nomination court will sit on 7 November, 2023. So here is what I see here. His Excellency uh, President Emerson Nangagwa, the President of Zimbabwe, Commander-in-Chief, whereas in terms of section what, 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 what of the Constitution. So now, this has been declared. So, um, and the second uh, bad news is the fact that the people wanted to make a protest in Blawayo have not been given go-ahead with MOPA. Uh, and which means that the protests will not go ahead. I saw some other people saying that they were going to go ahead with the protest. I think the likes of Cooksman and Promise Mkwananzi was kind of declaring that they will go ahead with the protest. But this is it. Um, those MPs have been recalled and they have to start again. So it then brings back the issue that I have said in the past that the C does not uh, look at what happened in the past five years that they were kept in the courts and in and out of courts and they continue to be denial of this fact and um, at the end of the day these are some of the costs uh, on the citizens the man was raised by the citizens all of it just gone down the drain the citizens have to raise uh, a money for these upcoming elections uh, if Sengezo Shabango goes ahead and recalls other members, which means that there is going to be another by-election. So, some people have labeled me as an NPF guy, but I don't mind that, that you have called me as an NPF guy. But what I'm saying is, isn't it time for one to put structures in order? Put the structures in order. And make sure that you have a constitution so that these recalls will not continue to happen. And once we have that, you can uh, now um, uh, formalize the party. Because if you leave another door open for ZANPF to explore, this is what is going to happen. So, I don't know. Some people will say, will be in denial and say, I ah, know uh, ZANPF is still going to do that. Then, why are you in politics if you are always a victim? You see, so to me, I really think that uh, there is really need to be serious conversation in tribe, inside Triple C about where, how do they want to conduct their politics in terms of Zimbabwe? How do they want to conduct themselves as politicians? Do they want to be crybabies and continue to be victims of ZANPF infiltration? And when they think they have closed the door of infiltration, another door is opened again and they continue falling uh, for the same, you know, they continue to be in denial. They once said that uh, we are not going to accept the presence of Idim Nangagwa. Now is one who is declaring your MPs invalid. Um, and the second thing that is actually happening now is there is going to be uh, an, another set of recalls. What are they going to do about that? So, I don't know what you think about this move and what you make of the MPs that were working. They were saying that they want uh, to disengage. If they disengage, we see, we saw the likes of Dave Court at working. They are not stopping to work. So, it then leaves a lot of questions to me that you are saying something else and then you do something else. Like, for example, they said they are not going to accept the results, but we saw MPs going to parliament. They said they are not going to accept the recalls, but we are seeing now they are going to go to by-elections. So, which is which? I don't know. You tell me what you think about these developments. What do you think could be the best foot forward for Triple C and for Nelson Chamisa and for the opposition and for our politics in Zimbabwe, what is the way forward? I'd love to hear your thoughts.